may be familiar with particular iPhone and iPad modifications that help seniors, such as increasing the text size. Still many accessibility features are rarely explored and you may not even be aware of some of them. In this video, we'll customize some accessibility features, making the iPhone and iPad more intuitive and less complicated for those with visual impairment and limited mobility. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. To access the accessibility features, you'll first want to launch the Settings app. Make sure that you're in the main Settings page. Scroll until you see Accessibility. Tap on it. And you'll see that accessibility is uh, divided into four sections. You have your vision section, physical and motor, hearing, general. So we can enable any of these features to fit a user's needs. While I won't cover everything in this video, I'll give you some of my top tips. Let's start with the zoom feature. This feature magnifies the entire screen when you double tap the screen with three fingers. Using three fingers, you can drag around to move the screen to the area you want to see. And when finished, you'll double tap again with three fingers and you'll be taken out of Zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on Zoom. And you'll see that the screen is immediately zoomed in on. Using three fingers, I can drag the screen around to the area that I want to focus on. And if you notice, it only goes so far when you're using your three fingers. So if you need to scroll, just use one finger to scroll. Let me show you how this looks on a website. So here I am zoomed in on uh, my uh, blog post and using three fingers, I can move this screen around and scroll to get to other areas and, you know, I'm still zoomed in, but when I'm ready to come out, if I just double tap with three fingers, I'm right back out of zoom. If I come to the icon page, the app library, and I double tap with three fingers, you'll see that it'll zoom in on my icons um, so that I can see them a little more clearly. And using three fingers, I can maneuver the page to the area that I want. When I'm finished, I just again double tap with three fingers and I'm out. I'm going to come back into the zoom area and turn on smart typing. When I do, if I want to uh, type a message, uh, let's go into the notes app and I want to zoom in on it. If I double tap in the notes area and then just tap on the screen. You'll see that a window appears around the notes area where your message would be typed. And although the uh, keyboard hasn't been uh, zoomed in on, your message area has, allowing you to type and see what you're typing at a zoomed in level. When you're finished, again, double tap with three fingers and you're right back to the normal area. So this is really great for someone who may have a, a vision impairment that needs that zoom capability to, you know, use their iPhone or iPad. I know I've mentioned the magnifier before, but it's worth mentioning again. It's a great feature that allows the camera app to become a magnifying glass. The easiest way to set it up is through the control center. So I'm going to tap on accessibility and I'm going to tap on settings to get back to the main settings area. And then I'm going to locate control center. And I'm going to scroll through to make sure that I have the magnifier in the included controls. If not, you'll scroll below, locate it here, hit the plus sign and add it to uh, the control center. Now to access it, you'll swipe down from the upper right corner of your screen and you'll see the little magnifier glass right there and you'll tap on it. And now you'll be able to zoom in and out 
on pages or or anything uh, that is more difficult for you to read. So if, if the type is too small, you'll be able to zoom in and out on the type to visualize it. Let's swipe back out of the magnifier and come back into the settings app. And let me get back to the accessibility settings and let's choose display and text size. Here you have some options. You can bold the text. And as you can see, you, it, you know, it immediately bolds everything on the text on your iPhone. You can also go in to where it says larger text. So if you're not happy with the text size, you can actually turn this toggle switch on and increase the text size even more. So as you can see, I can adjust the text size to what I want. If I turn this option off, maybe I'm not happy where the text size is right now and I'd like it to be a little bit bigger. Toggle that switch on and then adjust the settings to your liking or what you need. The next accessibility feature I want to talk about is reducing motion on your screen. So let me come up and tap on back and I'm going to tap back again to come into the main accessibility feature. And now I'm going to come down to motion. I've toggled this switch on and what, what toggling on reduce motion does is it reduces the animations in the interface. It's hard for me to show this, but if you go to your home screen and you have this switch turned off, you should be able, when you turn your phone, uh, see that there's some motion in the icons themselves. And so sometimes uh, this may bother people that have a visual uh, problem. And so you can come into this area and turn on this toggle switch and that will reduce that motion so that you don't see it anymore. Let's move on to spoken content. Um, I'm going to tap on accessibility in the upper left hand corner to get us back to the main settings and then I'm going to tap on spoken content. The speak screen feature allows you to hear the content of your screen by swiping down from the top of the screen with two fingers. You can also choose to use speak selection so that when you select a piece of text, you'll see an option to have that text spoken back to you. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to swipe out and I'm going to come into my blog post area and I'm just going to select a piece of text. And when I do, if I tap on the arrow that appears, I'll have an option to speak the text. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. Reading lists and bookmarks can make browsing the web so much easier. Using a reading list allows you... I can tap on pause to pause that. And you can go in and adjust the speed of how it's read to you. I'm going to tap outside of that area. And if I choose to, I can swipe down from the top of the screen to have the whole piece of text read to me, the whole blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and, whoops. About to make the best use of bookmarks and reading lists in Safari. March 28, 2022. Reading lists and bookmarks can make browsing the web so much easier. So as you can see, you have a, a little option box that pops up where you can pause and restart uh, the text. You can also adjust the speed at which it's read. And, you know, for someone who might have um, vision impairment, this is a great way to have blog posts or other reading material read to you from your iPhone. Let's move on to a hearing option. Under the hearing options, you have the ability to turn on subtitles and captioning, and most Apple devices show the standard option. But if available, you can toggle on the closed caption plus SDH for the deaf and hearing impaired if it's available. You can also change the style, giving you options to increase or outline the text or even create your own style. You'll want to try this if you're hard of hearing. So if I wanted to change the style, I would tap in where it says transparent background. 
this is what subtitles would look like. I can make the text larger. I can change it to classic. I can outline the text if necessary, whatever I need to do, or I can even create my own style if necessary. So take a look at this if you're hearing impaired. The last feature I want to discuss is the flashlight. And while it's not an accessibility feature per se, who doesn't need a flashlight every once in a while? To access the flashlight, you'll swipe down from the upper right corner of the screen. You'll tap on the uh, flashlight icon and that turns the uh, flashlight on. And now just push and hold on the flashlight to access and adjust the brightness. These accessibility tips should help get you started. Then take a look around in the accessibility settings to see what other features you might want to turn on. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.